Welcome to the Woodlawn Word! Today we are doing something completely different and giving you a fun-filled Christmas edition. We're going to have a very special visitor, tips and tricks for all of your present giving needs, and so much more. For our special edition of the Woodlawn Word, we were able to get Santa Claus to join us in a short interview. Here he comes now. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Rudolph. Chill out over there. Stop playing on reindeer games. Nice to see you, Santa. Hey, young yeah. ladies. How you all doing? I'm good to you. Ho, 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 ho. I'm so happy to be here. You ready for the interview? Of course. All right. So your first question is, is it really busy in the North Pole? It is very busy this time of the year. Um, I have a partnership set up with Amazon, and uh, together Amazon is getting all the gifts for the parents, and I'm getting all the gifts for the kids. Ho, 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 ho. Sounds good. So, who is currently your favorite reindeer? Uh, uh, right now, and always been Rudolph. Uh, he's a very special reindeer, and I kind of like the underdog, and they really talked about Rudolph, and we developed a partnership, Rudolph and I. And when it's real cold outside and it's real dark, he goes ring, ring on his nose and he sets up the pathway throughout the entire world. Wow. That's cool. Have you recently disciplined any of your elves? Oh, 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 yes. We have a timeout room in the North Pole. And we, have, we suspend elves when they skip work. Just like when you all skip school, we have to suspend you. So, yes, I've just been many elves. All right, and lastly, what type of milk and cookies are your favorite this holiday season? Oh, 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 this time of year, I love to fly down here and visit this place called Insomnia Cookies, where you get a chance to check them out. They're open from 3 p.m. to 2 a.m., so it works my night schedule. So I get the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup chocolate double fudge cookie there. Ho, 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 ho. I hope that you have them on your fireplace for Santa. What's your favorite milk? My favorite milk is chocolate. It keeps my skin dark, so I like chocolate <laughs> milk to go with my cookies. All right, that sounds good. So thank you for coming out to have an interview. Oh, thank you, ladies, and I know what you want for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go, Rudolph. Let's load up. Bye, Santa. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Now we're going to teach you guys how to make Santa's favorite cookie. First off, you're going to need the following ingredients. Two cups of flour, three-fourths cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a fourth cups of softened butter, two cups of sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a 14-ounce package of Reese's Pieces. First off, you're going to stir together your flour, cocoa butter, baking soda, and salt. Then in a separate container, you will beat the butter and sugar together until you receive a fluffy consistency. Now you will add the eggs and the vanilla extract in, continuing to beat the mixture. As you do this, you can start to add your original mixture as well. To finish off the dough, you will now add Reese's Pieces. After you finish setting the dough onto a cookie sheet, you will place it in the oven at 350 degrees. They will be done in 9 minutes and you should wait a few more until removing them off the pan. Now you are all set to leave out Santa's favorite cookies on Christmas Eve. Instead of your weather forecast today, I'm here to give you the snow forecast for the Christmas season. Over the winter break, unfortunately, there's going to be no chance of snow. However, it will be chilly with a slight chance of rain. The week of Christmas Day will be in between the 50s and 60s. Christmas Eve will have a high of 65 and a low of 44. And there's a possibility of rain or drizzle. On Christmas Day, there will be a high of 61 and a low of 45. Also on this special day, there's a possibility of rain or drizzle. During this week, you should continue to wear pants and jackets. You should throw on some fun Christmas sweaters or put on some fuzzy socks to stay warm. Continuing in the spirit of the holidays, we're going to spend this segment of the news teaching you guys how to wrap a gift. Since the wrapping of a gift is the first thing the recipient will see, it's kind of a reflection of just how much work you put into the present. We want to help you out so that your wrapping is a good and hopefully accurate representation of the thought you put into everyone's presents this year. Before you get too caught up in wrapping, you should first make sure you remove all price tags from your gift and measure out the paper. The paper should be about twice the length of the box you're wrapping. When you have the paper measured, cut it out. It's also easier to have plenty of tape cut out before you begin. Lay the box in the middle of the wrapping paper with the top
top side facing down. Then fold the paper over two parallel sides in the box, taping each side as you lay it down. Tuck the paper on the corners of the box in triangle shaped folds and tape them down. Lastly, tie a bow around your wrap gift and you'll be good to go. There are many distinct things to love about Christmas, but one of the best parts of the season is the music. Here are the top five holiday songs from the Billboard Holiday 100. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing a bushels of fun. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents. Only the Christmas tree. Everyone loves the season of giving, but we don't always know what to get. We're going to give you 10 quick, easy stocking stuffers to put in your loved one's stockings. The first thing on our list is earbuds. They're cheap and any music lover will appreciate them. The second thing we have are coloring books. These are great for little siblings who enjoy bringing pictures to life with color. Next up are peppermints and candy canes, a perfect taste for the holiday season and an amazing stocking stuffer. Another sweet treat that everyone will love is chocolate. Know someone who loves to read? Get them a nice book light for them to use in bed. Or you can even give them a homemade bookmark. Another gift idea for your loved ones is a small Christmas calendar to help them stay organized and follow through with their New Year's resolutions. The last stocking stuffers people will love are festive scarves and socks to keep them warm outside or gather around the fireplace. We hope that you were able to get a good idea of what you're going to stuff stockings with this year. Have fun giving. Good luck. That's all we have for our Christmas edition, but before we go, we want to give a huge shout out to our amazing crew. This includes our editors, Lily Parham and Frigid Dunstan, as well as our lights and cameramen, Dylan Oakwin and Bodie Greer. You hardly ever see them, but they work really hard to make this entire thing happen. Thanks for watching The Woodlawn Word, and be sure to tune in in 2019.